Hey everybody, Matt here. And today I wanna to make a very quick video for anybody who is on the fence about buying a used office chair from Crandall's Office Furniture. A month and a half ago, I was in your shoes. I was stuck between trying to decide if it was better for me to go on Facebook Marketplace, where I could buy a gesture with no headrest for $500, $600, $700 that had been farted in for six or seven years, or I could go to Steelcase's website, buy a brand new gesture with the headrest, with the lumbar support, and have the pleasure of paying $1,650 for it. Both of those options, in my opinion, just sucked, right? So I wanted to know, is Crandall's legit? When I tried to look this topic up online, I went to the Office Chair subreddit where half the people said, absolutely, they're great. The other half were saying, Dave Crandall is super active on here. This is probably just a PR team talking. Don't trust anybody. They make a good point to a degree, right? You should always search for a second opinion. I just wanted to know, like, are the pictures that Crandall's post actually representative of the product they're gonna ship? Is their customer support team sucky or are they gonna be like a headache to deal with? Like you hear about people with, you know, Secret Lab having just nightmare customer support problems. So those were the things I wanted to know. The problem was I couldn't find just a clear, concise answer to that from a normal human being who bought this stuff with his own money and has nothing to gain from giving Crandall's a good or bad review, all right? So that's what I'm hoping I can do for you here today. Long story short, if you're planning on buying a Steelcase authorized return, grade A or grade B, hell yes. Uh, I can't recommend it enough. I can't speak to buying a Herman Miller or Hayworth from Crandall's because I didn't do that. I knew after sitting in a bunch of different chairs, the gesture was the one that I wanted when I started looking on their website. They have their returns graded, grade A, B, or C. Grade A is essentially functionally brand new, all right? And I think the price kind of reflects that. Grade B is functionally new, but it has a couple of defects, whether they be cosmetic or otherwise. And then grade C was refurbished. I found this one right here. After the discount, it was $853. The ship date on this chair was March of 2024. So at the time, uh, I bought this on June 3rd, so two month old chair. It had a headrest, it had the additional lumbar support, it had the 4D arms. The only thing they had listed on their website was that there were a couple of scuffs on the base. And to me, that was a no-brainer, right? Like I said at the beginning of the video, didn't wanna pay $600 for a fart fest, so if the only upcharge was 250 bucks to get a functionally brand new, two-month-old gesture with a headrest, hell yeah, I'm gonna go for it, all right? So I purchased it on June 3rd, I paid 853. It shipped out on June the 6th, and it showed up at my door on June the 10th. Now, it arrived in this box right here, disassembled. They do include assembly instructions, the only thing I will say, which if you've kind of looked at these chairs and know anything about them, they are deceptively heavy, but I was able to do it by myself with the instructions they provided. And they also provide the little Torx T20 bit that you need to get it together. So I got together and lo and behold, I had what I thought I was buying, which was a functionally new steel case gesture. The fabric on the seat and on the back and on the headrest pristine, no problems there. Um, no scuffs anywhere I wasn't expecting, except they do have these little stickers here on the base that let you know um, where the defects are and they're listed on their product page. Mine also had a bit of cosmetic damage on a black plastic piece underneath. It wasn't upsetting to me, but I do think if they're going to point out these scuffs, which I can barely even see in real life, they should probably have pointed that out as well. The only problem that I did have was that after a couple of days of using it, I noticed, and I'm the kind of person that like the smallest thing just drives me nuts. I noticed that the right armrest swivel was a little bit loose. These steps that it makes was a little bit mushy. They weren't very clearly defined. It felt like it just moved too easily. So I reached out to their customer support, told them about my problem. They asked that I send them a video of the issue I was having. I did that. They promptly replied back with a DIY slash how to Try to fix that problem yourself. I did my best. I wasn't able to achieve the results that I wanted and I let them know that. And within a couple of days, this showed up at my door and it was a gesture arm replacement with instructions on how to replace it as well as a label to put the old one back in there and ship it back to them. So while I did have a couple of issues, they were resolved quickly, all right? And it's part of the reason why I'm glad I bought from Crandall's. Not only the fact that 
they have their own return policy. Like if I just hated the chair and didn't want it, I could return it free of charge. But also the fact that we're gonna, you know, honor those steel case warranties. I know steel case itself would, but like, yeah, it, there was no headache on my end in terms of having to get this stuff resolved. So if you're like me, you just wanted a second opinion from somebody, I hope I was able to provide that to you. One other thing I wanna mention, which I'm sure so many of y'all out there already know, is before you go and buy a chair like this, make sure you get to try it out first. I think a mistake a lot of people make is they just say, hey, everyone agrees that the Herman Miller Aeron is the absolute best ergonomic office chair. But I sat in one and I hated the freaking thing. It makes you sit like a robot, which, hey, maybe that's great for your posture, I didn't love it, right? So. Make sure you go and try them out before you go and buy one. But if you wanna buy a steel case chair, I don't think you can go wrong with going through Crandall's. I am more than happy with my purchasing experience, the product that I actually received, and the customer support experience as well. Like, I'm okay that I got a functionally new chair with a couple of, uh, couple of cosmetic defects. And I'm okay that I had to talk to their customer support and get the armrest fixed so that I was happy, right? It wasn't a problem that I was gonna box this thing up and ship it back for, but if I was buying a two month old chair, I wanted it to feel like it was still brand new, right? So I hope the video is helpful for those of you out there on the fence. I think it's a good company to buy from. If I ever buy another steel case chair, I'll definitely be purchasing one from them. Sorry if you're really curious about Herman Miller or uh, Hayworth or something like that, but yeah, I, I love this thing. Like. It's mine, you know? I don't have to worry about, about someone else's nastiness on it. So, yeah. Hope the video was helpful. Go and get yourself an office chair, fellas. Talk to y'all next time.